Hello everyone and welcome to Edge Computing video on IntelliPart. Do you know friends that Edge Computing is an emerging computing paradigm which refers to a range of networks and devices at a near at the user. Edge is about processing data closer to where it's being generated. Now before we discuss more about Edge Computing, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So now let's proceed to discuss our today's agenda. So first we are going to discuss with what is edge computing? Moving ahead, we are going to learn about relationship between edge computing and 5G. Then we are going to discuss how edge computing works. Moving ahead, we are going to learn about why is edge computing important. And at the end, we are going to conclude our session with discussion of edge computing use cases. So let's start with what is edge computing? Edge computing, according to Gartner, is a component of a distributed computing topology in which information processing is positioned near the edge where things and people produce or consume that information. So that's what Gartner said basically. Edge computing at its most basic brings computation and data storage closer to the devices that collect information rather than relying on a central site that may be thousands of miles distant. This is done to ensure that data, particularly real-time data, does not suffer from latency concerns that degrade applications' performance. Furthermore, by having the processing done locally, firms can save money by minimizing the quantity of data that needs to be transferred to a centralized or a cloud-based location. Consider devices that monitor factory floor production equipment or an internet-connected audio-video camera that broadcasts live footage from a remote office. While a single device may readily send data across a network, issues arises as the number of devices transmitting data at the same time increases. Multiply a single video camera providing a footage by hundreds or thousands of devices. Not only may latency degrade quality, but bandwidth charges can be exorbitant. Hardware and services for edge computing by providing a local source of processing and storage for many of these systems, you can help to overcome this problem. A gateway near the edge, for example, can process the data from an edge device and send only relevant data back to the cloud. In the event of a real-time application, it can also feed data back to the edge device. So, data in the modern organizations lifeblood giving important business information and enabling real-time management over crucial business processes and activities. Businesses nowadays are flooded in data and massive amounts of data may be routinely acquired from sensors and IoT devices working in the real-time from the remote locations basically. And hostile operating environments particularly anywhere in the globe. However, this virtual flood of data is altering how firms handle computing. The traditional computing architecture based on a centralized data center and the internet as we know it is not well suited to transferring vast rivers of real world data. Bandwidth constraints, latency constraints and unpredictability in the network outages can all work against such attempts. Edge computing architecture is being used by businesses to address these data concerns. However, this virtual flood of data which has come in our today's scenario, edge computing can be thought of a perfect solution. Now, we will discuss the relationship between edge computing and 5G. While edge computing can be deployed on a networks other than 5G, for example 4G LTE, the opposite is not always true. In other words, businesses cannot get full benefits of 5G unless they have an edge computing infrastructure in place. The relationship between edge computing and 5G wireless will continue to be linked as more 5G networks are deployed. But enterprises can still install edge computing infrastructure using multiple network architectures, including wired and even Wi-Fi if needed. However, because of the faster speeds offered by 5G particularly in the rural areas not covered by the wired networks, edge infrastructure is most likely to employ a 5G network. Now, we will discuss about a very important concept which is how does an edge computing works. 
So, the physical architecture of an edge can be complex, but there are core concept is that the client devices connect to the nearby edge module for faster processing and smoother operations. Edge devices can include IoT sensors and employees notebook computer, their latest smartphone, security cameras or even the office break room internet connected micro oven. An edge device is an industrial environment which could be autonomous mobile robot such as robotic arm in an automotive facility. In healthcare, it can be a high-tech surgical technology that allows doctors to do surgery from remote places. Within an edge computing infrastructure, edge gateways are considered edge devices. Because terminology varies, you may hear the modules referred to as edge servers or edge gateways. While many edge gateways or servers will be installed by service providers wishing to provide an edge networks. For example, Verizon for its 5G network. Organizations looking to implement a private edge network will also be considered this gear. Edge computing places storage and servers where data is frequently requiring only a partial rack of equipment to gather and analyze data locally on the remote LAN. In many circumstances, computing equipment is placed in shielded or hardened enclosures to protect it from temperature, moisture and other environment extremes. Processing frequently include normalizing and analyzing the data stream in search of business intelligence. With only the findings of business analysis is sent back to the primary data center. The definition of business intelligence varies greatly. In this context, we can talk about retail, for example, where video monitoring of the showroom flow is integrated with the actual sales data to determine the most desirable product configuration or consumer demand. Predictive analytics, for example, can advise equipment maintenance and repair before real-world problems or breakdown arises. Other examples are frequently aligned with utilities such as water treatment or electricity generating to ensure optimal equipment operation and output quality. I hope so you would have got an idea of regarding how does edge computing works. Now we will proceed to why is edge computing important. The computer tasks necessitate appropriate designs and architecture that matches one sort of computing work which may not suit all types of computing tasks. Edge computing has evolved as a feasible and an important architecture that enables distributed computing by deploying compute and storage resources closer to the data source, ideally in the same physical area. In general, distributed computing models are not novel and concepts such as remote offices, branch offices, data center co-location and cloud computing have long and illustrious history. However, decentralization can be thought of as a difficult activity, necessitating high levels of monitoring and control that are readily disregarded when departing from a standard centralized computer approach. Edge computing has gained attraction because it provides an effective answer to the rising network difficulties connected with transporting massive amounts of data that today enterprises produce and consume. It is not a matter of quantity, it is also a matter of time. Applications are increasingly dependent on processing and responses that are time sensitive. Consider the growing popularity of self-driving automobiles. Intelligent traffic control signals will be required. Vehicles and traffic control systems will need to generate and analyze and also communicate data in the real time. When this requirement is multiplied by a large number of autonomous cars, the extent of possible challenges becomes evident. This need a quick and unresponsive network. Edge and fog computing can handle three major network constraints, which is bandwidth, latency, and congestion. Now, if I talk about bandwidth, it means basically the quantity of data that a network can carry over the time is measured in bits per second. Every network has a limited amount of bandwidth, and wireless communication has much more restrictions. This means that the amount of data or the number of devices that may send data across the network has a finite limit. Although increasing network bandwidth to accommodate more devices and data is conceivable. 
the cost can be large, there are still finite limit and it does not elevate other issues. If I talk about latency, it is the amount of time it takes to deliver data between two sites on a network. Although communication should ideally occur at the speed of light, vast physical distancing combined with network congestion or outages might cause data transmission over the network to be delayed. This slows down all analytics and decision-making processes and diminishes a system's capacity to respond in real time. It even costs lives in case of driverless vehicles. So this was basically the cause of latency. If I talk about the congestion, the internet is essentially a worldwide network of networks. Despite the fact that it has evolved to provide good general purpose data exchanges for most and everyday computing tasks such as file exchanges or basic streaming. The volume of data involves with tens and billions of devices which can overwhelm the internet, causing high levels of congestion and forcing time-consuming data transmissions. In other circumstances, network interruptions can worsen congestion and even cut off communication to the some internet users completely, rendering the internet of things inoperable. So these were few of the major network issues which can occur, but you would know why there is an importance of edge computing. Now we will move ahead and we are going to discuss the edge computing use cases. Edge computing approaches in general are used to gather, filter, process and analyze data in place or at a near in a network edge. It's a powerful way to utilize a data that can't be moved to a centralized location first. Frequently because the sheer volume of data makes such movements prohibitively expensive, technologically impractical, or would otherwise breach compliance standards like data sovereignty. This term has inspired a plethora of real world examples and applications. The first one is the manufacturing. An industrial producer uses edge computing to monitor manufacturing, enabling real time analytics and machine learning at the edge to detect manufacturing mistakes and enhance product quality. Edge computing enabled the installation of environmental sensors throughout the manufacturing plant, providing information about how each product component is manufactured and kept, as well as how long the components remain in stock. The manufacturer can now make more accurate and timely business judgments on the factory facility and manufacturing activities. If I talk about the next example, it's farming. Consider a company that grows crops indoors without the use of sunshine, soil or pesticides. The method cut grows times more like by 60%. The use of sensors allows the company to track water use, fertilizer density and ideal harvest. Data is collected and evaluated in order to determine the effects of environmental condition, optimizing agriculture growing algorithm and ensure that crops are harvested in the optimal condition. So this was a wonderful case of the edge computing. And finally, we have improved healthcare. The amount of patient data acquired by devices, sensors and other medical equipment has grown tremendously in the healthcare business. The massive data volume necessitates the use of edge computing to access the data, disregard normal data and identify problem data so that the clinicians may take rapid action to help patients prevent health catastrophes in real time. That was all for today's session. I hope so you would have enjoyed our today's video on what is edge computing. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.